Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to Shito's Mathematics Coaching Program. So, having today on her board, 1 equals to 2. Is 1 equals to 2? So, that's the question I'm asking you. So, now, yes, to me, 1 equals to 2 with my proof that I'll be giving you very soon so before we can do anything on that so i'd like you to first subscribe to my youtube channel click on the bell at the subscribe button so you can get the notifications of my video anytime i drop my videos so i'll be back in the next seconds So you are welcome back. Having this one equals to two, so we are asking ourselves. So now I can say let C equals to D. Call this one equation one. If C equals to D, so we call this one equation one. So now try to multiply both sides of this equation by what by C. So we have what c squared equals to what c d this one turns to what equation two so now from this equation two we also try to subtract this both sides by what the both sides of two by d squared so now we have what we have c squared minus d squared equals to c d minus what minus d squared are you getting what i'm doing now so now after that, what is next thing? So this one, let's name this what equation what equation three. So from here, the next thing to do, you look at you have to do is look at the both sides of this equation three. You can see we can factorize, and the left hand side of three can also be factorized in this is what because this is what this is the front of two square that is c square minus z square. So now from here, so now write this one as factor as c minus z open bracket c plus z equals to try to bring out the common factor here the common factor here is also what is also d so bring out d open brackets c minus what c minus d how you get what i'm doing so now from here so you see what can you do to this equation you can see you can try to make this equation to be in simpler form by what by reduce one of the what of the reduce one of the what of the common factors. You can see from the both sides, so we have common factor c minus z, c minus z here. So now doing that, you can see that we can divide. If we divide the both sides of this equation, the both sides of this equation by c minus d so we have what we have that is c minus d c minus d you can see we have this we cancel this this we cancel this so we have what we have c plus d left then equals to what equals to d so we arrive at what equation five so now from here so what is the next thing we can do to this Understand? So we now go back to equation one because we've already mentioned that c to be d. If c equals to d, then equation five becomes what? Equation five becomes c plus c equals to what? Equals to c. I guess because we've already said c to be equal to d. Or you said D to be equal to D, anyone, D to be equal to C, anyone, you, because C is D and D is C. I get it now. So from here, you can see that C plus C gives us what? 2C equals to C. Equation 6. So now from this equation 6, we can see that we can still reduce this equation to simplest form. So now by dividing through by C, because C is common, so we have divided by C, divided by C. So now we have our last solution of our last resort to be this we can do this this we can do this we mean one to have two equals to one or one equals 
to two, it's still the same thing. Is that one is equal to two or two is equal to what is equal to one? Because from the law of what equation, the left hand side is always equal to the right hand side. So that's how we have this. So which is the proving that is the proof of one equals to two? So this is the end of the proof. So we have any questions to ask concerning this so you can leave. Ask your questions and I will give you the best answer to your question. So you have a wonderful day.